we are going to solve on problem based on chi square test in which we are going to discuss about the poisson distribution problem so let us see the problem first fit a poisson distribution and test the goodness of it use 5 percentage level of significance so here also you can see the experiment is not known that means we don't know what is the experiment they have just mentioned the x and y value f values therefore we have to find some sort of relation so first of all we'll find the summation of f what is that it is equal to 200 summation of f is 200 and poisson distribution i hope you know p of x formula what is the formula m power x into e power minus m by x factorial now here m is the mean mean how to find mean here mean is basically the same formula so it is the same formula summation of f of x by summation of f what is summation of f of x 0 into 120 plus 1 into 60 plus 2 into 15 plus 3 into 2 plus 4 into 1 you will get it as the 100 summation of f is given as 200 therefore the final mean will be 0 0.5 so therefore we have got the value of mean that is m value this is m this is nothing but don't get confused between m of this and degree of freedom one more m is there this is the mean of poisson distribution okay this value so we have to just substitute the m value here and form the equation so p of x is equal to 0 0.5 power x into e power m so e power minus 0 0.5 by x factorial so this is the equation now we need to find the same method the same method as we have discussed in binomial distribution also we have to in order to find theoretical or expected frequency we have to apply the same formula that is e of x is equal to p of x into summation of f so we need to find p of x so for that we have this formula and we have to find from p of 0 as you can see p of 0 to p of 4 you have to find p of 0 to p of 4 till there you have to find the probability after that we will find the expected frequency using this formula so i have written all the values over here that is p of 0 to till p of 4 and after that i have used the formula e of x is equal to p, summation of f into p of x so i have found out the values of e of 0 e of 1 e of 2 e of 3 and e of 4 now the one more thing here is that this is all approximated value so i was getting the value of 199.96 it was nearer to approximately it is nearer to 200 so i so what i did is that i have just approximated 0 0.32 to 0 0.36 in order to get the summation of e as 200 so that it will match the summation of f summation of f is 200 so in order to make both equal so i've just increased the decimal value that means 2 to 6 that is that's it okay so this is a little bit adjustment anyways so the this is all approximated values so you can just adjust the decimal values it doesn't matter so now we'll further move forward to find out the chi square value which is equal to what f1 minus e1 the whole square by e1 therefore it is 122 minus 121.3 the whole square by 121.3 plus 60 minus 60.66 the whole square by 60.66 plus 15 minus 15.16 the whole square by 15.16 plus 2.52 sorry 2 minus 2.52 the whole square by 2.52 and the last and the final one which is nothing but 1 minus 0 0.36 the whole square by 0 0.36 this is all we have to do we have to calculate all these values and finally you will get the chi square value as 1.258 this is the chi square value 
so we have chi square value as 1.258 now we need to test the hypothesis for that we have to find the critical value from the table so it depends on the degree of freedom and one more factor so n minus 1 m what is n over here it is nothing but 5 minus m frequency okay pairs of frequencies 5 are there and m is nothing but the number of quantities that are used to calculate the expected frequency here it is 2 again why because we have used summation of f is equal to summation of e and one more thing we have found out the mean of the poisson distribution as well which is nothing but summation of fx by summation of f again we have used this formula therefore we have used the two quantities therefore it is equal to 3 okay i hope you understood why i have taken 2 here now the next thing uh, level of significance is also given 5 percentage 5 percentage level of significance that means 0 0.05 so at 0 0.05 and degree of freedom at 3 we need to find the chi c square from the table which is given as 7.82 now we need to check whether chi square belongs to minus chi c square comma plus chi c square interval or not that means whether 1.258 belongs to minus 7.82 comma 7.82 yes of course it belongs to this interval therefore we can accept the hypothesis we accept the hypothesis so it means that the poisson distribution is a good fit to the given frequency distribution